So this video, Liam, I'm going to show, Liam and I are going to show you how to do a fake forwards. They kind of, your partner will jig your tie up and you finish with a kochigari. All right, so in this one, uh, I'm fighting Liam. Maybe I've thrown him with a forwards technique. I've got a score, maybe I have it, and he's a bit, he jig your ties up a little bit. And you can do that by twitching. Okay, if I twitch, he goes, whoa, what's happening? Okay, so what, there's a few different twitches you can do. You can use your arms. But for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to just do, do a back step like this. And I can move him around a little bit. Okay, so but anyway, either way, that's just how you twitch. And he's going to jigger tie. When he jigger ties, okay, what I'm going to do is on the second time, I'm going to fake. And I'm going to do a one, two step. Going back to that same T step that was at the beginning, but instead of rather back stepping into it, I'm going to come forwards into it. Okay, forwards in. And when you jigger ties, here, I'm going to get the weight off the leg and, and take it out. Okay, so fake forward. Okay, I might fake forward with a tight toshi. It comes out. And I can take out the leg with kawachigari. Now, a few things people do wrong here is the arms. We still need to work the arms more than the legs, okay? If I just, if he jigger ties, okay, and I just use leg and no arms, he will nearly always spin out of the technique any direction, okay? I need to be using the arms because uh, they're the direction hands, okay? The foot is taking him out, but the hands need to finish him somewhere, okay? So I need to be looking out for that jigger ties to a position. Secondly, if when he jigger ties, the arms need to be getting his, the weight off the leg. Remember, he goes jigger tie. He goes jigger tie. Doesn't work, okay? I need to get the weight off the leg, and then it works. And so it requires this sense of when I use this kind of fencing step, I need to get that happening, okay? Fencing step moves him. Once he's moved, I can then work the kawuchi. See, he's on the weight's on his heels. Now they push him. Now he's too far away, okay? Here, I'm, and I'm using my, my body and the driving of the back leg to move him. And after a while, the leg will come up. If you, if you, uh, if you are thinking that you, the, the sweeping leg will throw him, it won't. Get the weight off the leg, then take out that supporting leg. So to drill this, I suggest you do you can either, uh, let's just do one this way. I'm just gonna fake first, like this, and finish. So you can drill it like that. And so what you're getting, what you're getting is getting a reaction with your partner. Maybe you can, you can do this, maybe you can, like that. Whatever it may be, but your partner's in jigger tight, the weight is coming off the leg. What'd you say, or not off the leg? Um, moves past, past the leg. Once the weight goes past the leg, you can take it out. So I really love that. And I'll use that. Liam said it in the other video. I say past the leg. I'm like, oh, it's a perfect word for it. The weight's on the leg, but it's past the leg, so we can take it out. And that's a great way to teach and to do Kaljigari when they're jigger tie. But the principle is, I fake forward. I look at his reaction. Oh, he's jigger tie. Awesome. And I can work this technique.